Hello there. I'm so excited about today's video. You guys have no idea. Is that my new intro? My God, I say that every time, don't I? In today's video, I let my subscribers pick my White Fox boutique haul. This was such a fun video to film because I had no idea what items were going to arrive. Last time I worked with White Fox, I said to you guys, if there's anything that you want me to try next time I work with them, leave it in the comments below so that I can show items that you guys are thinking of buying. So you guys left a, a big old list for me and I got a friend of mine to go through that list and pick out some things. She passed that list on to White Fox for me and then White Fox sent the stuff out and I had no idea what was coming. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, oh, I, I, I feel like my subscribers probably have similar style to me. That's maybe why they watch my videos. So there's probably gonna be some pastel things. But then I was also like, People also like it when I make a fool of myself. I know White Fox doesn't sell clown costumes, but I was nervous nonetheless. The items arrived and I was blown away. There was a lot of things that I would not have picked myself, but I'm so glad that you guys chose them. So glad. So originally I was gonna do a video like uh, I only wore outfits from White Fox Boutique for a week and I was halfway through filming that and then I realized Black Friday is coming up and White Fox always has an enormous Black Friday sale and White Fox is quite a pricey brand because it's very good quality. And I know that it's the sort of brand that a lot of people will have a wish list and they'll wait for things to go on sale. So when I saw that the Black Friday sales were coming up, I was like, oh God, I can't see through this week of wearing clothes. I need to pause halfway through and I need to upload this video so you guys can see this stuff because you guys chose all of this. So if you wanted to buy any of it on sale, White Fox has set up a code. It is, please hold, pretty pastel and it gets you 30% off site-wide for the duration of the Black Friday sale, excluding collabs. So in other words, if you go on the site right now, things will already be reduced for Black Friday, but you can get 30% off using the code Pretty Pastel. Then after the sale ends, it'll be a 15% off code. So I'll put the code in the description box below and I'll also put all of the links to all the items. If you're new here and you don't know about White Fox Boutique, White Fox Boutique is a Australian brand that sells Amazing clothing. Probably my favorite, I would say. I I've done a lot of videos with various brands in the past, but I would say White Fox is like the highlight for me as far as comfort, quality, price is also reasonable given how nice the stuff is. They're well known for White Fox Active and White Fox Swim, and they also offer express shipping worldwide. So without further ado, let's have a look at the items that you guys picked out for me. <laughs> literally what I'm wearing. Are these meant to be with that? Oh, oh sick. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so cool. More shorts. More shorts. Hey, babe. Me, I am babe. Oh. Oh. Right, okay, so this belongs with those shorts. It's the same set that I'm wearing right now. How funny. Aha, uh -huh. I see. This is also the same set as the one that I'm wearing right now. It, someone picked this because it's Archie Green, didn't they? Oh, huh. corset. Oh. Wow. Wow. This is very Winx Club. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> this is so cool. It's so, this is so small. It, is this, is this adult sized? One size questions. Oh, these are nice. Oh, I like these. I love it. Ooh, 
Wow. I'm liking your picks, guys. I'm really liking your picks. This is so, so good. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is... Yes! This is the top that was out of stock. In my very first white box video, I saw this image of Jess Hunt and she was wearing these cool pants that I was able to get, but this top wasn't in stock. This is so cool. What the hell? Hi, Dan. It's like someone skinned your clothes. <laughs> Hannibal was here. I don't know what that is. Hey, Dan. Can you come pick an outfit for me to wear tonight? Um, we also have to leave 10 minutes ago, but you know, that's, that's just life. You still got the thing on your nose. I know, I know. Then take it off. Hang on. Hey, hey, take it off. Dan, you didn't have to do it like that! It's like a bandage. <laughs> No, because it went so quick. Ooh. My blackheads? Yeah, I got your blackheads too. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're going to gold class. Yeah, either going to be over or underdressed. What's the worst outcome? Being overdressed or underdressed? Probably being overdressed, I guess. You think being overdressed is a bad thing? Oh, that's cute, I like that. I know! So, uh, are you going to pick that one? Yeah, I was Yes! That. I'm so, so glad. Okay. We're on the same wavelength. This is literally what I when I pulled this out. I was like, "This is so cool!" And I was thinking, "I want to wear this tonight." Sure. It's sick. It's pretty it looks, long. Looks good on you, Dan. Thank you. Oh god, I don't think it's gonna fit. <gasps> nope, nope, we're fine. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's sick. Okay, and I'm gonna take this bag. This is. So cool. I wonder if this comes in other colors. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna, I was about to say I'm ready, but I'm not wearing makeup and I need shoes. Hey Alex, why'd you pick the 10 inch heels when we're walking through a construction site and we're like a kilometer away? If Black Widow can do it, so can I. <laughs> Such a poser. <laughs> we're so late. Run. Oh, it's interesting. That movie had a really bad rap on like Rotten Tomatoes. It got rated so poorly and I thought it was going to be such a bad movie based on all the reviews, but I really, really liked it. It makes me sad to think that some people might not go watch that movie because they don't think it's going to be good. You know, like we were almost going to skip going to see it at the cinema because we were like, oh, you know, it's got such bad reviews. Like. We'll just wait for it to come out on Disney Plus kind of thing. But I'm so glad that we went to see it. Oh no, me undies are stuck in me zip. Oh shit. No, like actually. Oh no. Oh yes. All right, have a hug. Have a hug. A grace, a hug. I'll just do it through my finger. It'll just do my finger. <laughs> <laughs> my hand was on my food. Okay, me and my friend always help each other through. Like, accidentally, not, we don't so do it on purpose. It's okay, as long as you're a friend. Hey, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, I think that's the best one. Peak attraction. I think that's the best one we've seen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> peak attraction. Oh, yeah, get one with Austin Cedric. Oh, he's so baby. Wait, look at his guilty face. Yeah. Cause he's been eating cow shit. Cedric! Did he look up? He did. That, you know what? This may be the first time that everyone is looking at the camera. Oh, yeah. Look how everyone. depressed he looks. You don't have a drink? No. Hey, you want to have a drink? Sure. Lucky! Okay. 
So I just need some assistance. Yeah. Removing yeah. the, the dog yeah. from the shirt. Yeah. 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 He kind of, he goes with the angels on your jumper too. I have your dogs in your line. I have tape on my I just realized. I completely forgot. Cedric's eyeballs. Wait, what does the nose tape do? Stop swelling. If I don't wear tape, like every day, my nose goes, oh no. Gotta be a lettuce or a thief. Oh, you <laughs> head. <laughs> wow, that was extreme. I know, I'm sorry. I know, she is very extreme. Thief! Thief! Stop! way through these outfits uh, day by day but the Black Friday sale is about to start so I should probably post this video now so you guys can actually see this stuff so that you can buy it while it's on sale. This is so ridiculously soft and cozy. These are the From the Past lounge shorts and the Falling Hard sweater. Really nice loose fit and the colour, the colour is so pretty. So I think the way that I'm going to do this, let's get the loungewear out of the way first because it's comfortable and I'm not ready to change out of my Doblin form yet. So you guys have already seen me wearing this. I have been wearing this non-stop. Uh, not just the times you've seen me on camera. I've been wearing this to bed, I've been wearing it out, I've been wearing it every day. And this is the She's a Dream oversized sweater. This feels like a different fabric to this one. It actually does feel like a kind of worn fabric. It's a little tiny bit harder than this one, but in a, in a good way. It's kind of a little bit stiffer. It's nice and thick and plush, and it's really, really long. I love the length of it. The colour is so beautiful. I would call it almost like a, a periwinkle kind of blue. And the shorts, the matching shorts, this is probably going to be my most worn loungewear, I would say, because it's so crazily comfortable. And also, everyone that's seen me wearing it really liked it. Every, literally everyone has been like, oh, I like your sweater. Every one of my friends that saw me wearing this said they liked it. So I think that tells you all it needs to. So the next one, we've got a long for the ride lounge shorts in ice blue and the matching sweater, which is the best of both worlds oversized sweater in ice blue. Best of both worlds. This is the one that I now have in sage and I've got it in that beigey color. And now I've got it in this one. This one also says Beverly Hills. You know, it's funny, I have this mug that I bought years ago that says, if the shoe fits, buy it in every color. <laughs> well, uh, I've obviously taken that philosophy to heart because if the sweater fits, buy it in every color. Every time White Fox asks to sponsor one of my videos, I will probably collect this in another color. I will catch them all. I live in sweaters, what can I say? Another one that I think I will probably live in. <laughs> this is just so ridiculously pretty and I never saw this on the site. 
I had no idea this was even a thing on White Fox. This is the Brooklyn Knit in Baby Pink. If I'd seen this before on their website, I definitely would have picked this in one of my haul videos. I can't believe I never noticed it on the site. I think I'm actually gonna put this on with some long pants. So you guys picked out two lots of black pants. We've got the super, super shiny ones here. These are the I'm the only one pants. And then there's also these which are a little bit more matte and they also have a flared bootleg. These ones are the show it off pants. So let's start off with these. I'm a little bit nervous about how these are gonna fit because the waist looks very small. Oh. Okay, we're fine. All right, so uh, the sweater's too long and now you can't see them. So let's put on a crop top. Oh, let's go for this one. This is the Patience Corset in Pastel Rose. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. I love the corset so much. It's the sort of shape that I agree with. You know, in the past, you guys have heard me complain multiple times about the little bits of skin that happen here when you wear things that are sort of tight around your armpits. This corset actually comes to like two points like this and the points actually like sit up here and they scoop that in. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. It's got boning all the way through it, like through here. It's so pretty. Anyway, the pants, I really don't know. I probably will have to see myself wearing like high heels and probably like a different outfit, I would say, because at the moment I'm not loving them. They're really like wet look, you know, they, they look slippery. They feel very, very slippery. They don't smell, which is great. I suppose the fit's nice. There's no pockets at the back, which bothers me irrationally. They're giving me a little bit of a wedgie in here. Like they're kind of, there's a very specific height that I wear my high-waisted pants because if I wear it any lower or any higher than that height, it sort of does funny things with the skin around here. Some brands I can wear my pants up there, no problem. It doesn't cause a wedgie or anything, but these, they're not quite long enough. So if I want to undo the wedgie, I have to pull them down a little bit and then see, see this. So not 100% sold on these, but I have much higher hopes for these ones. But for a start, these have flares. And you guys know I love flares. This is me telling myself the zip is on the back of the pants. Okay, the zip goes on the back, Alex. Okay, these, these are my favorite. These are my favorite. They're so cool. These literally blow the others out of the water. I really liked the ones from the first video I posted, but these, they have that golden ratio. You know that ratio I always talk about with flared pants where I'm like, it needs to be tight here and then it needs to cinch in at the knee and then it needs to come back out and the flare needs to be equal to the width of my thigh or wider. And if it's not, it's not good enough. These have the golden ratio as far as flares go. They don't have pockets anywhere, which is forgivable this time because they're so nice. I will allow it. I would wear this with like a cute little pink handbag. And oh, speaking of handbag, this. This! The always chic bag in green. I love it. I put it on my Instagram story when I went out to the movies. People were like, that's the most beautiful bag I've ever seen. Correct. It's amazing. It's It holds a lot. It's like deceptively large. And I don't even care that it's not a pastel color. Like even with this, this doesn't even look too bad. Like it's a, a pink pastel corset, but the green still blends in nicely. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's so cool. And I have quite a few pairs of high heels that have this kind of like woven texture. So I love it. This was what I was originally gonna try on before I got sidetracked. The Brooklyn Knit. Ba -ba -bum -ba -dum. Ba -da -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. This is so comfortable. Look how long it is too. It's so, uh, look how long the sleeves are. And it's so cozy. I always like to roll my sleeves up like that. And maybe, hmm, I wonder if I can tuck it in. I wouldn't tuck the whole thing in, but maybe something like this. I love this. It's a beautiful color and it's so soft and it's fulfilling all of my Barbie fantasies. <laughs> all right, let's try this one on. This is the Way Home Sweater in cream. This has a really cool texture. It's like a uh, squares. I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> this is nice. This is very soft to touch. And also it's, it's really unusual to touch because it's got that kind of like bumpy texture. It's, uh, it's just really like, you know how like sometimes when people have anxiety and they need to like touch something or like have something that they can fidget with to kind of ground them. This is that sort of thing. I would just like stand around doing this and it would calm me. It's really pleasant. It's actually a lot lighter than you'd think. Like that one that I just tried on, 
is very thick and it's gonna keep you warm. This is actually, I would say it's kind of like a lightweight sweater. It's very thin. Oh, I know why. It's because it doesn't have like a fleecy layer inside. Everything else is kind of like fleecy on the inside. This one is, it's actually quite a thin fabric, but it means that it's a, a little bit easier to wear when you've got multiple layers. Cause for me, sometimes if I want to wear a sweater, it's, it's just too hot. I love the look of a sweater, but it's just too hot to wear one. But this one, cause it's a little bit more lightweight, I get to wear the sweater that's so long that it covers my pants, which means I can wear leggings that may or may not be a little bit sheer and might show my undies, but that doesn't matter because this will cover my butt. I think there's matching pants, which I may pick up in the next video I do with White Fox because I really like this. So this guy, finally, I'm so happy about this. This is the uh, Got A Crush long sleeve crop. I thought I was gonna love it. I was right. It's amazing. I love tops that have a double zipper, you know, where you can zip it like this, but you can also zip it like this. This whole outfit is giving me Black Widow vibes. And fun fact, the first year that Dan and I got together, we'd only been dating for a couple of weeks and I wore a Black Widow costume for my 21st birthday party and Dan went as Ron Weasley. <laughs> I wonder if Dan knew that I was gonna end up looking like this if he would have still married me. But yeah, this top serves such Black Widow vibes. I love that you can zip it all the way up like Hang on, shit, I didn't need to do that. Like this, you can zip it all the way up like that. So it's like a turtleneck. The sleeves are really long and they also have this little bit of a split in them, which means that they're not too tight around the hands. Like my hands are free to fight Thanos and throw myself off a cliff. Sorry, spoil look, spoilers have passed. It's been years. And this top, turns out it comes in pink. I did not realize. So thank you to whoever suggested this because I, I thought it was only in black. So the fact that it comes in pink, <laughs> pink widow, it is I. Got a crush long sleeve top in baby pink. <laughs> It's the most beautiful shade of pink. When they say baby pink, they they went hard on their color selection. It's the perfect shade of baby pink. Oh my God. Okay, look, three different looks. So you have it like this, right? Where you've got a little bit of a V-neck or you have it as a turtle neck or you have it like this. Actually, I have a necklace that would look really good with this. This is the locked up pendant. I think that's what it's called. I got this in my last video. Now this really completes it. I love this so much. I I get very sad when people say like, she's just saying that because she's sponsored. No, let a girl be excited about clothes. I grew up in a family that was not wealthy. Uh, the clothes that I wore my entire life growing up were secondhand, thrifted, given by family and friends. Buying a new piece of clothing was a, a rarity. To this day, I get very excited by nice clothing. <laughs> and I also get very hurt when people say that I'm just saying it for a sponsorship because I wouldn't do that. I'd rather send myself to the sun than lie about something for the sake of sponsorship. So when I get really, really excited about things, I hope you guys know I'm getting excited because I am excited. Uh, I can't pretend to be excited about something that I'm not excited about. I just, I won't do it. So. The fact that I'm so ridiculously excited about this top, I promise you, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Now, a top that I am probably not going to be obsessed with is this, if you can call it a top. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, so it's called the Talk Too Much Crop. Is that an attack? Is that White Fox trying to tell me to wrap up the video because it's been half an hour so far? Thanks. <laughs> Look, I have no idea. I, I truly have no idea. Is it? Like, see the tag is here and the tag would normally be at the back, wouldn't it? So like, does it go on like, oh, uh, I reckon, yep, like this? And then you, no, I, I'm gonna try, put it on myself and then I'm gonna Google it and make a fool of myself. This might have to sit like this because I tried to tie it around the back and it's not long enough. So maybe <sighs> we're in dangerous territory here. All right, I'm gonna take the two loose ones. I'm gonna cross them over and then bring it around. And then tie it at the back. No. It's not long enough. Oh yeah, hang on, that's pulling, oh, look, it's pulling my boobs together. Is it going to give me a cleavage? Hang on, if I pull really tight, hang on. Come on, you can do it, yes! Look, cleavage, yes, cleavage. 
I feel like I tripped and fell in a hospital and landed in a pile of bandages. White fox, talk too much. Hang on, that's... That's what I did, right? I think I've done it right. It just looks better on her because she's gifted. All right, you know what? A, a moment of brief adjustment. And I actually really, really like it. I feel like I shouldn't, and there's no reason why I shouldn't like it. I, I think just, there's just like the little insecure goblin within me that's like, you can't feel good wearing things that are revealing, but you are allowed to feel good. You can feel good wearing anything. No matter how old you are, no matter what you're wearing, you are allowed to feel good. So if I tell myself I'm allowed to feel good wearing this, I look good wearing this, don't I? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on, what's it? Look, you can put your arms through here. Not that you'd need to, but if you're into that, I guess you could. Moving on, this, oh my God. I had no idea this existed on their website because again, if I'd seen this in the past, I totally would have got it. This is called the Keep On Looking Mini Dress. This is a dr sorry, mini dress? Is that a typo? Is this not a top for toddlers? Mini dress? What? Oh, cool. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Shit. This is the coolest and weirdest thing that I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't own any clothing that is this unusual. This is, for a start, a really weird fabric, but I couldn't find a tag anywhere to tell me what type of fabric it is. It's really, really thin and really stretchy. It's literally like the sort of fabric you'd get tights made out of, just stockings. It's like stocking fabric. It's a dress, but I wouldn't wear it as a dress because it's completely sheer and I mean, as you can see, I'm having to... <laughs> I'm looking to protect myself or deal some damage. It's so cool how it's got these little, like, buttons that are diamantes and the holes and everything. It actually looks really cool as a long top. And we have thumb holes. And look at this. This is so cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but on the sleeves, there's this really unusual sort of print texture, like lines, and it also says White Fox. It actually says White Fox on these sleeves. I have no idea what this is meant to look like. I don't know what it looks like on the model. I haven't seen any pictures of this. I, I can't imagine what this would look like on the website, but I love it. I, I want to put something on over the top of it, purely to prove a point. Can you imagine getting this for the sake of the really, really cool sleeves and the really cool details here, and then finding some sort of top to wear over the top of it? I mean, yes, you could always wear a bra, but that's just, it's not really my thing. <laughs> if you're looking for something unusual and weird, this is definitely it. All right, next I'm gonna try the Crash the Party crop in pink. So glad that you guys were picking pastel clothes for me. Thank you very much. You did not do me dirty in any way at all. This has teeny tiny dental floss straps, like the, the tiniest little straps I've ever seen. All right, here it is, uh, very small. Probably the only thing that I wouldn't spend my own money on. Like everything else I would totally buy myself, but I, I this again, I'd be like, no point to this. All right, this one. This is called the Acacia, Acacia Bustier in ice. Uh, I can't get this one done up. Also, I don't like it. It's, it's got these like very weird shaped cups. It's got boning in here and here, and it feels really nice. Like it's a nice sort of smooth satiny fabric. It runs really small. This is an extra small. Everything else has been an extra small, but this is the only thing that I'm having trouble getting done up. I just don't like the style at all. If you like the style, uh, maybe get it one size up to what you would normally wear. We have a tank top and I have a feeling, so this is the on the go top in Sage. This may match something else that I've got from White Fox because it's, it's the same Sage color as these track pants that I have and a sweater that I have. Ugh, I love this. You know, I never used to wear tank tops or anything that would really show my arms. I don't really like my arms. And since I got the wolf cut, I suddenly have no problem with showing my arms off. I feel like it's because the wolf cut matches that sort of like muscle tee kind of vibe, like punk rocker, showing the sleeves, all that sort of thing. And I suddenly really, really vibe with it. And now that mentally I'm there, I'm on board mentally with the showing of the arms, I now don't think that my arms look bad. I'm like, oh no, I look, I look good. 
isn't it weird? It's like a mentality kind of thing. Like I used to tell myself, you don't look good showing off your arms, so don't show them. But now I'm like, nah, nah, with a haircut, it all comes together and I do look good. So now I look good and I feel good. Okay, this one. This is the not guilty crop. This is really nice. This is very, very thick. So is this one. This is super thick. This is digging in a tiny little bit around here, but I really like how it's super shape fitting. This is very soft and very thick and very stretchy. All right, so I think I'm wearing this wrong because if I just tie it right there, it, it's just, it's all hang open. So I think it's more likely that this is supposed to be like a wrap top. All right, I think this is how it's supposed to be worn. That's the image from the website. How did I do? <laughs> this is how I will wear this because I can't wear it the other way. Actually, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. I could wear it over the top of something. So if I had like a dress or something, I could just wear it loose and just loosely tie it up. That would be fine. But otherwise it's just hanging way too far open for me. Oh, I could wear the corset. Now that's cute. That's very cute. That's a really nice color combination. And this is how I will wear this cardigan. I'll just wear it over the top of things. It's so, it's just really soft. It's really, really cozy. I really like it. Now for something that I most certainly would never have chosen for myself. You guys are trying to turn me into a Winx fairy, aren't you? This is the Perfect Vibe Maxi Skirt in green and the Dance All Night Bustier in green. I'm gonna put the skirt on with what I'm wearing. I suppose this is how the skirt is meant to sit. Uh, I always rely on the label to tell me which way is the front and the back. If I turn it a little bit so that's more on the side, then the label's over here. So I feel like thats it's not meant to be like that, but that's probably how I would wear it. This is a really, really long skirt. It's touching the ground. With the matching corset, I think it's a little bit too much green. It's so loud. I don't know where I would wear this. If I was like on an island vacation or something, I would totally wear this there. Absolutely. Actually, you know what? This is exactly how I would wear this. I have a little Aloha hat that I got from Walmart in Hawaii, and I have this pastel Louis Vuitton tote bag. If I was in Waikiki, I think I would I would wear this. I, I would go shopping at the Alamoana Center wearing this for sure. This is giving real main character vibes. I love it. It's actually, it's really cool with my pink hair. The corset, this is the same silhouette, same shape as the pink one. I love it. The skirt, yeah, I'll save this for holidays. Corset, amazing. For the grand finale, I'm going to get back into my loungewear. These are the Trust Yourself Pants in Oatmeal, and I've been living in these. I've been wearing these pants every day around the house since I got this parcel, every day. And then there's the top, the True Bliss Crop in Oatmeal, which I love. I do love the style of it. I love the length of the sleeves. Both the top and the pants are a really, really stretchy, comfortable fabric, but I haven't been wearing the top because it's so short. And when I'm lounging, I want to be able to just like mooch and just like spread and just let everything kind of like hang out like that. And if I'm sitting on the couch or sitting at my computer, like all hunched over like this, and then this is happening, I don't feel as comfortable. Even though the only person here to see it is my husband and he loves me no matter what, I just, <laughs> I'm like, hmm, unless I'm sort of standing up tall and sort of looking kind of composed with good posture, I don't really like how this looks. So I've been wearing the pants just with long things uh, like this. So I'm going to just put this back on because it's incredible and I never want to take it off. And also I really like that the sort of pastely yellow color on the print here is kind of similar to these pants. Like it, it feels like this should be together as an outfit. So now that I'm comfortable, I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee, sit in front of the computer, edit this video and upload it so that you guys can see this stuff in time for the Black Friday sales. So don't forget, if you wanna buy anything from today's video, use the code PRETTYPASTEL for 30% off at the checkout. So with that, thank you so much to White Fox Boutique for sponsoring another video. It's always a pleasure working with you guys. I adore the clothing from White Fox. It's just, it's so good. Oh my God. What, what is the, stop. Why do the ghosts always play up when I'm filming? Can't you play up some other time of the day? Does it have to be when I'm on cam? Why? You want to be on camera too. Okay, right, yep. So with that, thank you guys so much for haunting and I'll see you next time. Mwah!